Jigsaw is an absolutely terrible film, and I might go as far as saying it's the worst of the Saw films up until this point. It's the eighth Saw film, released in 2017, and honestly, it is so pointless because the story is basically just stuff we've seen before, but with a slightly different angle, and it's not gory. There's a little bit of bloodshed, but honestly, it's so tame that it's not scary. I never felt sick. I never had to look away. There's nothing about it that is scary. And then we have a an attempt to make it surprising and, and, you know, twisty. But it's just so badly written that it's chaotic and scattered and all over the place and unnecessarily difficult to keep up with the passage of time. Other Saw films have done this where we have several different timelines and honestly none of them have been very good at it but this one was terrible absolutely horrendous so there's I, I can't really praise anything about this I mean to be fair it started off okay I'd say for the first half an hour I was interested I was hopeful I thought it was going in a good direction and then the last hour hour and ten minutes were boring were not scary they there was hardly anything happening. And as I said, it's very similar, like bits and pieces from other Saw films basically make up this film. So if you've seen the other Saw films, which I'm assuming most people will have done, then you've seen this. But this is a worse version of the other ones. Honestly, I'm very disappointed. However, some of the previous Saw films were a bit weak, and then some of them were better. Saw 7, I adored, absolutely loved it. So I, I genuinely don't know what's going to happen with the, the next two films. I've not looked ahead. This has not put me off watching the other ones because, as I said, some of the previous Saw films were not good and then some of them were really good and there's no consistency with that. I think it genuinely comes down to the script, the story, what approaches they take and how daring they're willing to be with the horror aspect and the... You know, the, the bloodthirsty quality of a lot of the more shocking scenes and, well, the game, basically. And this one just failed at every opportunity. If I had to find some positives, the acting was fine, the music was fine. That's about it. There were really no other redeeming qualities whatsoever, to the point where I would say it's not worth watching. Now, that might change because maybe the next film that comes after this is connected. I haven't looked ahead at that but I'm hoping really hoping that there's no connection between this film and then the next two. This might also be my shortest Saw film review because I have nothing else to say. I, I don't even have any thoughts on the, the intricacies of the narrative because it's so boring and dull and unnecessarily convoluted. As I said some other Saw films are a little bit like that but this one takes it to a whole new level, and it's not a great level. And had it been gory, had it been scary, I might have been okay with that. Because maybe if there's something appealing, I can, you know, deal with a narrative that means it's a bit of a mess. But there's nothing, absolutely nothing there about it that's worth watching. The only reason I'd say watch it is if you've watched all of the others. So you can complete the set, as it were. But I adored Saw 7, it became one of my favourite films of all time. This is one of the worst films I've ever seen. Who knows what to expect from the next two, despite how terrible this is, I am going to immediately, well, tomorrow, watch the next one, and then I will be waiting for the latest instalment to be available on Prime or YouTube or whatever, and all I can say is, it can't be worse than Jigsaw, I don't think that's possible.